My name is Belinda and I work at the University of Notre Dame in campus ministry and this year I was a recipient of the BJ Hickey Biblical Foundation Scholarship. So this scholarship exists for lay people like myself to undertake further biblical studies and as part of my scholarship I used it to spend two weeks in the Holy Land in Easter this year. So I used the scholarship to spend two weeks in the Holy Land uh, studying mainly the Gospel of John but also a little bit about the Psalms um, and some of the Jewish festivals as well. So that was done over Easter and Passover which was a really amazing time to be there. So as part of my study we stayed in Jerusalem in the Old City which was a really amazing place to stay because there are a lot of significant sites around there. So for example, you could do your study during the day um, and then when you have a break in your study, you could wander down um, to the Western Wall or to the Temple Mount or the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. So that's pretty amazing to have so many um, rich and significant sites within easy walking distance. So as part of the study, we were based in Jerusalem, but then we would also do day trips and a few overnight trips to other places within the Holy Land. So, for example, we stayed for a few nights in Galilee, which was wonderful. So we stayed on the shores of the Lake of Galilee or the Lake of Tiberias, and we visited a number of significant sites around there. So, for example, we went to Capernaum, we went to Tabgar, we went to Magdala, and it was really wonderful to actually see all of these places that you hear about and that you read about in the scriptures. Um, also, we went to Nazareth, we went to the Church of the Annunciation, we also went to a number of other sites as well. So for example, we went to Judea, which is in the south, um, and a lot of that land is quite desert. It looks almost like a moonscape when you're there. There's very little that grows there. So that was quite eye-opening to see the contrast between the lush greenery of Galilee, for example, and that really barren, uh, almost wasteland in Judea. Um, but then within that, there's still signs of life. So for example, we went to a place called Iron Getty, um, which is a year long spring. And that was really amazing to see all of this greenery uh, sp spring up in the middle of the desert. Uh, so Iron Getty is a site that is potentially credited for um, being a place where David may have been um, and potentially where he may have written some of his psalms um, because it's a place of rest and respite within the harshness of the wilderness of the desert. So I'd say that there were mainly two goals for me. Um, one was to gain a greater appreciation of the Bible and the particular parts of the Bible which we were studying. So for me that was mainly the Gospel of John um, and also a little bit of the Psalms and certainly with uh, the scholars that we had teaching us, we were able to do that. Um, by no means am I any expert after only two weeks of this particular intense study, but certainly it's given me a really good feel um, for, for that gospel. And I would say definitely a greater appreciation and insight and understanding than what I had before I left. So that was one goal. The second goal was, I guess, to become a little bit more familiar with the land itself. So often when we're at Mass and we're hearing the scriptures being read to us or when we're doing our own prayer or, or Bible reading, we hear about these names um, and we hear about these places, but we don't always know where they are. Um, so for me to be able to go there and to be able to contextualise some of these places, that was another big goal that I was hoping to achieve. One highlight for me in particular was being on the Sea of Galilee. So we took a boat ride there and there was a moment when we were on this boat and there were 30 of us, about 30 of us on the boat and the, um, the people on the boat cut the engine and we were all just there and we had a moment of, of prayer and silence. And so to be there and to hear the waves lapping and to just have that moment of, I guess, kind of contemplation or reflection on where we are and what we're doing and um, what this means for our relationship with God um, I found that really amazing. Yeah, I'd definitely say that that was a highlight. <laughs> if anyone is thinking about applying for a BG Hickey Bible Scholarship, I would say definitely apply. It's well worth it. It will enrich your understanding of scriptures. It will enrich your faith. It will enrich many aspects um, yeah, of, of your life and your spirituality.